So hello everybody and welcome again to another Power BI video. In today's video we're going to talk about how to order columns and legends and stuff in Power BI, you know? This is a question that I get all the time and I have explained it before but I don't think I have a dedicated video to it. So I'm going to do it so it is just super clear uh, how to do it. Hope you have a nice vacation if you had it and a great new year. So how about we start? So hello there, do you know that I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Fridays? So make sure you hit the subscriber button and the bell to receive notifications every time I do that. How about we get started with today's video? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This is a file that I already shared with you. It is called Calendar Power BI. If you go to the download center at corval.com, you will be able to download it. Calendar Power BI, okay? and. Um, the only thing I've done is just new source, blank query, copy the code, and you know, you get my calendar. And uh, the topic of this video is how do you sort things in Power BI? Well, Power BI will sort things numerically or alphabetically. So if it finds a number, it will sort it numerically. If it finds a text, it will sort it, sort it alphabetically. Sometimes you have numbers that stores as text, so you will get stored. Uh, it, it is a mess. But the thing is that if you don't like the way that Power BI has sorted your data, you need something else. You can actually do it. You can always specify the sort order that you want things to. And to do that, you just have to have a column that allows you Power BI to know which sort order you want to have instead of the default one, whatever that default one is. So for example, here we have in this calendar day number, I have day number as text because as you can see, uh, day one, two, three is zero one through two zero three. I think it looks better when you are visualizing the data that is zero one instead of one. If you just want to have one, two, three, then it will sort it correctly if you save it as a number. Um, in this case, it is saved as text, so it would need a support column. Another one is, for example, day name. Day name, you know, if you just don't do anything and try to represent this, you will sort it alphabetically because it's text. So if probably, more certainly, you don't want to have that. You want to have the name of the days in order of the week. So you need to sort that too. Month number is a number, so it will sort uh, automatically. Uh, Month name, it will sold alphabetically because it's text, so you need the support column. So I have here on this calendar sort columns. You have sort day name, your month, your week, your uh, quarter, and those are the columns that needs to have a specific sort order. So for example, for, let's see, year week, you can see here that I have this as text because I prefer that format. You could have this, but it's not that easy to read. So I have this as text and then I have a number, just a simple number uh, that we will tell Power BI then that sort this by this. So we have all the columns that we want. We have the sort, the support columns for, to indicate to tell Power BI, this is the order that we want. We could close, click close and apply because the sorting, you specify that in the, uh, well, either on the visual tab or in the modeling tab, it doesn't matter. So here are some things, some tips. Uh, first of all, as you can see, month number and quarter number and week number and year, because we save them as numbers, it gets this um, sum symbol, which means that when you add that into Power BI, it's going to add by default, it's going to sum. And you don't want to sum years, why would you? So what you need to do with all these columns that you have in there, if you want to avoid having a sort column and avoid having them sum, you can actually have both. So if you go to week number and you go to the modeling tab, you can just tell Power BI, even this is a number, don't summarize it. And then Power BI won't summarize it, but still know that it's a number, so it will sort it correctly. And you see that the symbol disappear? Let's do the same with year. You see? So this is what you need to do with these columns. So 
you know, it's super annoying every time that you throw at them in a visual and they start summarizing, which you just don't want them to do that. So that is the first trick on summarizing or ordering things that are numbers. For ordering things that are text and you don't want them alphabetically, you have year month and then we have a sort year month in there. So you just go to click on the year month column that you want to sort and then sort column sort by it says and then it says sort by year month and now it is sorted by year month these columns hide them when you're ready okay you don't want to show them to your users why would you then you have year quarter and you sort it by year quarter and then once you've done that hey you do go and you hide it so that's basically how you do it. Now, let me show you, because if you I have here, not relevant at all, but just for the demo, I, I have a bar chart that has a year, months and axis, you know, the X axis, and then it has number of months as value. Again, <laughs> this is for demo purposes. Let's say that we want to put the name in there. Okay. And uh, as you can see, because the name is stored as text, it sorts alphabetically. That's what Power BI does. So if you want it to sort correctly, it will do that also on Legends. That's why I'm waiting to do this. You just go to day name, sort by, and then we have sort by day name. And as you can see, it's sorting by the order that you specified. So you can have Power BI sort things and order things in the way that you want. You just need to have a support column that will tell Power BI, this is the order that I want to have it in, in case that is not the order that you specified in the beginning. So I'm really hoping that this clarifies how to sort and order the things in Power BI. And remember, an auxiliary column if you need it and then you can sort absolutely anything in power bi in the order that you want so this is all for today i'll see you again on wednesday until then take care bye